outside a ring of what? That's for me. Hey? What? That. This? Oh, no. This is for me. Some very useful additions to my library. Some old bit with having a clear up. A ten reach. Not bad, eh? Oh, yes. I'm building up quite an impressive little collection there. George Bernard Shaw. Back to Mephalooza, Lily. Lee. Lee. <laughs> I've got that one. Where's me George Bernard Shaw section? <laughs> oh, yes, that's very impressive. I've nearly got a complete works now. <laughs> Puffs of bitterness. Jean Paul Sartre. Yeah, that's a funny thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a girl here with a bluff's middle name. <laughs> Jean Paul Sartre. That's like me being called Al Gladys. <laughs> oh, well, they're a funny lot, some of these writers, you know. Like that, Evelyn Wogg. <laughs> now, what sort of name is that for, for a bluff? I was very surprised, I was very surprised. Oh, yes, that is coming along very nicely. Very erudite. How's it look to you, then? All right. You've forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? Didn't expect you to forget. Forgotten? What have I forgotten? I, I posted your football coupons. I put your off dollar into the off-license club for Christmas. No, I put it also I. I don't think I have forgotten anything. Do you know what day it is? It's Tuesday. <laughs> what day? The 25th. That's right. The 25th of January. That's right. Tuesday the 25th of January. Sitting here all day thinking, he won't forget. He's sure to turn up in a minute. He won't forget. Oh, it's not for you. Lady, please turn over. <laughs> Alfred Edler, what life should mean to you? Oh, that is a very nice volume. I've been looking for one that size. That'll fit in there very nice. I'll have to get round to reading some of these one of these days. <laughs> Encyclopedia Britannica, volume 2, 1911. Oh, God! Oh, I'm in the... 3, 14, 17, 21, I've nearly got them locked. Oh, it's coming off very nicely, that. They're all different colours, of course, but that don't matter. <laughs> I saw a very nice pair of library steps today. <laughs> I, uh, I think I'll get them tomorrow. Of course, if I'll get them, I'll have to move the books up. I mean, it's got to look a bit silly having library steps if you can reach them, innit? I mean, I mean, I mean, there's no point in climbing up the library steps if you have to bend down and get in the books, is there? You think more about your books than you do about me. What sort of a day have you had, Dad? Rotten. Why rotten? Nobody's been in. Nobody cares. Nobody knows what day it is. I've been forgotten. I don't think you'd forget. Ah, oh, what's the point of talking about it when you come to my age? Nobody's interested. People are only interested when they can get something out of you. Well, I've got nothing, so that's me finished, I suppose. Your supper's in the oven. I'm going to bed. Well, before you go, Dad, perhaps you might like to have this. What's that? Happy birthday! You dirty rock bitch! You all <laughs> I do. I just wanted to see your face. I don't know I stop laughing when I was putting them books away. Oh, I've been forgotten. Nobody cares about me. Woe is me. Alas, alas. <laughs> you should have seen yourself. My face like a squeeze lemon. Let me laugh about it. Why did you give me this this morning instead of letting me mope here all day long? Go on, open it. Oh, that's a load of rubbish, that one. Do you like them? All right. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to try them on, see if they fit. What 
you'll take your mittens off first. <laughs> <laughs> How's the best feel, all right? Oh, not bad. It's funny not having my fingers sticking out. A bit tickly. Oh, yeah, well, that's the fur, you see. They're a fur line. Clench your fist. You've got to move your hands about. You get other comfortable. Soft, don't I? Look just like real leather, don't they? What do you mean it looks like it is real leather? It ain't. It's plastic, isn't it? Plastic? It bleeds in well I'm plastic. I'm going to inflict you, they are, mate. Plastic? I've made up four nickel for them. You, look. Look at the label. Genuine pigskin. Made in England. The best pair they had in the shop. I was all over for them. Plastic. What do you think I am? Oh, they're, they're very nice. So, oh, well. Don't you muck about in them. Those are for best they are. Yeah, when you grow out, they're, yeah, they're not yeah. for messing about in the yard in. Don't let me catch you up in any rubbish about in them. No, no, no. I'm no. not laying up four nickel for you to go up and round in the yard in them. No, I'll keep these for best. Yes, well, you uh, see you do. Yes, I'll keep them down. I'll put them in the cupboard. Oh, God, no, no. <laughs> you can wear them for now and for Sundays and so on. But just don't go doing any dirty jobs in them. I mean, they're not for shoveling out the stable. They're like ten, you see. They pick up all the dirt. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look after these. I'll, I'll keep them for best. Shall I put your card on the side, Paul? Card? Oh, oh no, half a minute. I'd like to read it first. Father dear is my wish. Most sincere you've stuck. No. <laughs> Most sincere you've stuck in me, really. No, no, the way. <laughs> Happy birthday, Father dear. Is my wish. Most sincere. You've stuck to me throughout my life in times of trouble and of strife. And so I wish to you, dear Dad, Long life and happiness from your land, from your loving son, Harold. <laughs> well, the words are a bit corny, lot. Like. But it was the nearest they had, you know. They're lovely words, Harold. Thank you. I'll put these with all your others. You have not kept all the others, have you? Of course I have. You know, I have them all in my chocolate box. And your Christmas cards. And your mother. Hers to me and me to her. And I have all your school reports. And, and your letters to Father Christmas when you was little. All written in crayons. Yeah. Of course I've kept them all. That's what I was looking for, the card. That's what's important, not the present. You needn't have to bother about no present. Oh, no, I didn't have to buy him no present. I just wanted to buy him a pair of gloves, that's all. So I was moaning about how cold you are, how cold your hands are in the window. Look, if you don't like them, you tuck them back. No, 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 they're lovely gloves, as nice as gloves you've ever had. Yeah, well, you, you look after them. They'll set you off very nice, they will. Those gloves and your brown suit, very nice. Proper little gent, you look. But go on, go get ready. What for? I'm packing you out. To me? Oh, you didn't know that, did you? The glass is only half your present. The rest is still to come. I'm going to give you a night out. Where are we going? Down to the Skinner's Arms? The Skinner's Arms? <laughs> <laughs> We're going up west. 
The wicked? That's right. We're going up to town. I got it all arranged. I've been working on it for a week. Now I'm flushed. There's no bother. It, it's all planned out. It's all boxy. We're going to start off with cocktails at a very fashionable bar and tickets for a show and then dinner at an exclusive restaurant I have chosen. Dinner and a show? Sounds marvellous. Oh, well, it ain't every day you're 65, is it? I... Besides, I haven't been out myself for a long while. I've been doing stuff. I've been up in town since you left the army in 1946. You remember that night? We went to the windmill. Oh, saucy place that, isn't it? I still had a program at me shoebox. Lovely <laughs> birds they were. <laughs> oh, dear. 1946. Some of them birds must be knocking 40 now. <laughs> I don't half fly, don't I? Are we going to the windmill again tonight? No, no. I, I thought we'd go somewhere else for a time. Well, where are we going then? I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. Oh, go on, go get ready. Can I wear my gloves? I won't use loose them. Yes, you can wear them. Uh, put your best suit on and a collar and top. You have to wear a collar and top. Can I go on my mouth, yeah? <laughs> Well, we're going, mate. Without the collar and tie, they won't let you in. We are not mixing with the hoi polloi tonight. You, you don't want to let yourself down with your new gloves on. You can look very nice if you want to. Go and put your army tie on. A khaki one? No, of course not a khaki one. <laughs> the dress one. The one with the red stripes. Oh, I won't enjoy it if it's too posh. We'll let you into the Skinner's arms without the collar and tie. We're not going to the Skinner's arms. Oh, Dad, please, don't be such an inverted snob. <laughs> You're just as good as they are. Those days he's all gone. It ain't Burlington birdies nowadays, all silk scarves and monocles, coming home as we're going to work. I mean, it's all finished, that. Leaning up against pie stalls and their top hats and their posh birds, that's all gone. These days, if you've got the loot, you're in. Can you pay the bill? That's all they want to know. And we can. For one night at least, anyway. <laughs> Go on, come get ready. Shall I wear me medals? What for? Well, I might get better service in the restaurant. You know, old soldier and all that. Hero, fought for his country. You leave them off, mate. <laughs> well, we're going half the way as you fought against. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening. What can I get you? What would you like to drink, Father? I'll have a pint of beer. I'm sorry, sir, we don't serve draft beer. Don't serve it? Why not? We just don't. There's no call for it. We have bottled beer. Oh, no, I don't like bottled beer. It's too gassy. It bloats me out. Something cruel. There's no need to go into this house. Fancy not having draft beer. They have it in the Skinner's arms. Well, this isn't a pub. This is a cocktail lounge. Have something else. Have a cocktail. No, I'm thirsty. I don't want one of them little drinks. I want some with guts in it. Perhaps the gentleman would like a long drink. Might I suggest a pim? Oh, yes. He'll have a pim. And for you, sir? Oh, me. I'll have a vodka martini, dried vermouth, twisted lemon, crushed ice, and the... <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I know where you got that from. That's what that James Bond drinks in that Dr. No film. <laughs> I was drinking there long before that film came out. Not in the Skinner's arms, you went. She was on busy like the rest of us. Well, please don't keep going on about the Skinner's arms. I feel like a parrot perched up here. <laughs> it's a nice place, isn't it? Where's the dartboard? <laughs> well, I don't have dartboards in places like this. Will you keep your voice down? A oh, large dinner of Italian, see, Terry? Just a minute, huh? What is the horse all right? Oh, yes, I'm sure the groom will look after him. Oh, the drinks. Now, where'd you get that from, Common God? <laughs> Seventeen and six, sir. How much? It's three, Daddy. It's all right. 
Seventeeners? You've got a nerve charging seventeeners each for two drinks. A large vodka and martini, ten shillings. And a pim, seven and sixpence. Seven and six for a bleeding fruit salad. <laughs> you big quiet. You can drink all night down to the Skinner's Arms for seventeen and six. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. They saw us coming. It's all right, barman. You can keep the change. Thank you. Half a dollar, you're potty. Please, Dad, people are looking. You're trying to spoil it, aren't you? Just you drink your drink and shut up. <laughs> Eight shillings, please, eh? Huh? Eight shillings? You're not going to pay it, are you? You haven't even got the bits and pieces in it. <laughs> Good night, Harry. Good night, Tom. See that? Never even touched the side. You'd think he'd be entitled to sit down for that money. Eight shillings, you can get a pair of boots mended for that. <laughs> you can take those away, we didn't order them. There is no charge for those, sir. Oh, oh, I see. Here, get some of your money back. <laughs> oh, Dad. I can't get these cherries out. How much for... Oi! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Will you excuse me a moment, please? I was just giving the young lady a light. Sex mad, you are. <laughs> it's all right. If you wanted to go out and pick up birds, you should have said I could have gone home and gone down to the Skinner's. Please, Dad, this is not the kind of place you can go around calling birds birds. Look, I'm <laughs> sorry if I left you just then. I didn't mean to offend you. I apologise. Tonight, I'm not interested in birds. Tonight, I'm with you. I mean, this is your birthday. We're going to go out with two of us and have a good time. It's all going to be lovely. All right? Oh, all right. Well, let's get out of here. Then the last hole this is. Well, that's the gun now. It's getting late for the theatre. Well, I hope it'll be even more cheerful than this lot. Well, I didn't. I couldn't understand half of what they were saying half of the time. Well, what about the acting, though? What did you think of Michael Redgrave? Which one was he? The one with a big nose and a lump on his back. <laughs> it was all right, I suppose, if you like that sort of thing. I don't. Not very true to life, was it? I mean, not like dead cars. Now, that's real acting. <laughs> it's like real coppers, they are. But this Burke, he didn't know what he's doing. you never seen a king going on like that. Hobbling around the palace, moaning all the time. He wouldn't get away with it for five minutes. Well, don't you understand? That was hundreds of years ago. I mean, there were a lot cruiser in those days. But th th this, this is a historical saga. This is our heritage. You ought to know about these things. You know all about American history, don't you, eh? How the West was one, wired up, how the river, yeah, you know all that. Had in court and plenty on nothing. <laughs> well, why couldn't we have gone to the windmill? Well, don't keep on about the windmill. <laughs> this is literature, this is. I must say, I found it quite absorbing. Yeah, I'm sure lies. You fell asleep halfway through. I didn't <laughs> fall asleep. I merely closed my eyes in order to more fully enjoy the beauty of the poetry. Oh, when he sat on that throne. Now is the winter of our discontent, my glorious summer by this son of York. Beautiful words. You don't get no one in Bonanza talking like that, do you? That bell. That's the warning bell. 
the trick next is going, come on. You mean there's some more? <laughs> there's another two hours of it yet. Oh, you've had that iron sitting through another two hours of that. This is turning out to be quite an hysterical evening, this, isn't it? <laughs> All right, come on, let's grab round it. There's no point in me sitting in there on my own. I only come because of you. I've seen it. Come on, we'll go and eat. You knock eating, don't you? Of course I do. Oh, let's have it. I just want to make sure before we go. You got your glove? Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, Mrs., you want to program off price? <laughs> <laughs> Hal Stetter. Oh, yes. Just one moment, please. Hey, uh, is this one of them Chinese restaurants? Well, of course it is. I don't look like Italians, do I? China, man. I don't trust them. Where do those stairs lead to? I bet there's a dope den up there. <laughs> lying about, smoking these pipes. Let's get out of here. I can't be ridiculous, Dad. This is London. For that old few men choose waiting to take over the world from the fiendish white devils. I don't like the look of them. Look. You like Charlie Chan, don't you? Number one, son. These boys is all right. Where'd you go at them? Hey! Don't creep up on me like that! You see, you don't make no noise, these people. I could have had a knife in me back then. Shut up! Thank you very much. Your gloves, sir? No, I'm hanging on to them. You know, I don't have any gloves. The table's ready, Mr. Setson. This way, please. It looks like double Dutch. It's Chinese. So the English is on behalf. I'll use your eyes for gold, sir. Egg bouillon. What's that? I thought you said it was in English. Egg is English, ain't it? Yeah, well, what's bouillon? I bet you it's one of them hundred year old eggs they dig up. I ain't eating no hundred year old eggs. Shark soup. Bird's nest soup. Bird's nest. Oh, the dirty dirt. <laughs> Lion's head! I ain't eating no lion's head. I'm getting out of here. You sit down. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. I'll do the ordering. Now shut up. Are you ready, waiter? Sure. The special fried rice, a sweet sour pork, soft spare ribs, lobster chop suey, the soft noodles with prawns and the wallaby, bamboo shoots, and chicken and pineapple. Pineapple with chicken? Oh, no. Not for me. I don't have any of that. What do you care for, sir? I'll have two sausages, streaky bacon, baked beans, three eggs, two slices of fried bread, chips, and a cup of tea. Very funny. Now, will you leave it to me? I'll know what I'm doing. You'll like it when you see it. Is that all, sir? Yes. Oh, oh we'll, we'll have chopsticks. Yes, sir. And, and the wine list, please. Yes, sir. You're wasting your money. I'm not eating that much. But how can you tell? How can you criticise when you've never had it? These Chinese, they really know how to eat that. This is delicious. I mean, all that, what I ordered, that's not what the average coolie eats. This is what the mandarins nosh. They have all that. Thank you. Ah. Now, let's see. What shall we have to drink with it? A white wine, I think. How would you prefer, Dad? A Moselle or a Chablis? <laughs> that Chinese drink? Of course, that ain't a Chinese drink. It, it's from the continent. It's wine. It, white man's drink. And they got no bitter. No. It's my birthday. I can have a bitter if I want one. Well, they ain't got none. You can have a sake if you want one. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not going to enjoy it anyway. A bottle of Chablis, please. And two sake. Oh, the Chablis, 59. Yes, sir. Shall I take your gloves, sir? No. <laughs> you see, they're off me gloves. I told you, you can't trust <laughs> That's right, mate. You check it, because they're cunning, you know, this lot. <laughs> Have you over as soon as you look at you. 
I've been off to my new gloves ever since you come in here. Here, give it to my son. He'll, he'll check it I for you. Do you mind? He's got a billion in Chinese. You can't understand it. They're trying to catch him. Why don't you? That's my son. Really? Yeah, he's well up on this Chinese law. <laughs> so much. Thank you very much. It's me birthday, you know. That's why I'm here. My son's taking me out. You wouldn't catch me in here otherwise. Really? Yeah, I'm 65 today. I don't look at you, I. Here, what do you think of my gloves? Harold gave me them. Look, that's real fur, that is. Poor nigger, they call him. Very nice, very nice indeed. You're a lucky old man. <laughs> this lot spotted them as soon as they come in here. Twice they've been after them. Perhaps they were trying to hang them up for you. Wow. He was after them. Bet a lot of money in China, these gloves would. <laughs> Live for a year on these gloves in China, they could. <laughs> yeah, I really must be going now. <laughs> Took me the old Vic too, he did. How oh, nice. Load of rubbish, that is. Don't you go there, mate. Save your money. Thank you very much. I'll take your advice. Now, if you'll excuse me. I don't look 65, do I? No, you don't. You're a most unusual old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice man, isn't he? Do you hear what he said? He said it was a most unusual old man. You don't. Okay, yes, sir, you sit down, you're rambling away with complete strangers. I only tell them about me birth. Now, I can't do nothing right, I can't. Don't touch that, so it's very hot. Ah! It went right through me gloves! Touch it right, touch it right, touch it. Very nice. Thank you very much. Might at least try it. And I shall stick these right up your nose. <laughs> You're determined not to enjoy yourself tonight, aren't you? Well, there's one or two things I don't like. I don't like spending fortunes on miserable, mournful, ungrateful old gits, even if it is their first time. I'm not do it anymore. I've had enough. In future, you can celebrate your birthday on your own. I'm going to be poor. I can do it again. Good. Waiter, where's my bill? Is there anything wrong with the food, sir? No. It's just that I'll... I don't like the company I happen to be with. Yeah. Oh, goodbye. Don't follow me. I'm finished. Yeah. Where are you going? I've had enough. I'm on my own. In future, come on. Here you are. Here's Temple. You go out and enjoy yourself, and I'll go out and enjoy myself. We're all right at work, but we just don't mix together socially. I'm going up west. I'm going to see if I can get hold of that bird again. It's only ten to ten. You can catch the two bone. Go down to the Skinners. Have a good booze up with your mate. That's where you should have gone in your first place. <laughs> good night. Night. And look after them gloves! <laughs> <laughs> 